Bro, if this jungle pool like Sichuan gets banned next and then Lee Sin and how broken is jungle roll? I, I really hope we can get some kind of carry jungle matchup then. But Peanut can play his Poppy. Peanut can play like his Skarner or some shit. I would respect the lights for fun as well. Maybe last ban Varus here. Pace Varus is really good. Ooh, they took Pace Senna. I think Varus was better. Let's see if they pick it though. Maybe they go Lucian instead. Pace, I don't know. Pace has been a bit uh, weak. Or maybe they pry or something else. Yeah, said you want. They're actually just gonna go for the jungle pick. Said you want first pick. Ew. Uh, something that paired really well with Ew. Viper Zeri here, really well slam for sure, right? Oh, Zeri Rexai. Oh my God, Hummel Life draft is crazy already. They want the Zeri. What are they gonna play here? Lucian Nami. Kai said not. They can play Varus not. Jinx Tum maybe. Nah, not great. Ooh, Aphelios. Wow, Pace. Are you gonna go Aphelios? Maybe he wants more confidence. He's gonna go Aphelios not or Aphelios. Lulu? Yep. Oh, I think Zeri Brown murders this. Now, I'm sure of it, Delight. Just fucking lock it in. Don't go don't go Schizo on these support picks. Don't go like Renata. Don't go fucking Lulu. Just lock in Brown and take the elo. Come on, buddy. Or lock in TF. I don't mind TF as well. Actually, no, I hate TF. Alistar is okay, actually. Actually, Delight Alistar is mega good. Delight Alistar is mega good. Bro, Delight is an Alistar main. Is it worth the ban? This is Marasaka Zione. Bro, I, why do I smell, why do I smell a peanut trundle in this draft? Hmm, Nautilus Sejuani. I smell a Chovi Yone and a, and a peanut trundle for some reason. He probably just plays Diego or some shit, I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many jungle bands. Rel, Maokai, Vi, Zinzal, Nocturne, and then Sejuani pick. I mean, Lee Sin is okay. Garvin is also fine, but not the best. Um, Diego is probably the best, but <laughs> yeah, I like Trundle yeah. here. Um, ah, yeah, Wukong. Wukong is a pretty good pick, actually. Very often. I always forget about Wukong, that it's like playable. Yesterday it? they played it as well, right? Yes, Didn't they? Who was playing it yesterday, chat? Was Kanavi, right? Kanavi played it against Weibo. Kanavi played it against Weibo, right? Yeah, I mean, Chovy classic here would be Azir Corky, but I think Yone would be cool as well. Keen loves TF top, but Jax isn't banned, so I'm a bit scared for him blinding TF top, so maybe he goes Kasante. Because Keen's Kasante is incredible. And then I guess Doran would last pick Aatrox into Kasante, Sejuani, Nort, or he would just play Nar. I don't think you can blind Sejuani here. Uh, TF, sorry. And the TF's probably pretty good against Wukong. Oh yeah, you're as Rek'Sai, what am I saying? Well I'm high as fuck. Why did I say it in the last pick, Aatrox? Oh, he's gonna play Urgot into Rek'Sai again. Come on, Zekka, show me that Corky. I like Akali in your draft, though. I like it. Oh, Zekka Akali, game one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. True, it's always T1 Gen G. Now's the time for Hammer Life Damon to go to MSI. Come on, baby. I mean, the Urgot is going to be quite strong early on, but... Uh, Canyon is going to face check into two of them as they are committing quite far into the jungle. Our Gen Genji Gen go for the invade because they have Urgot in the Rex now, Wukong, but they kind of butchered it. Early on. Well, not even kind of, they mega butchered it. Not getting the road though. Bro, Zekka is so cocky. With how much but I can see I why. From the short he went Conqueror difficult. against this. And I can see why. Like, Conqueror against Sejuani, Urgot, uh, Nautilus, Tank Azir is good. But no is, fleet is rough in this is lane. Rough. It's still so hard to How is he trading so hard side? already? Like, yeah. this yeah. Azir is already half HP. This game's slow. Both jungles are full carrying. They are pushing solo lanes because range into melee. Nautilus, Aphelios also getting pushed. Yeah. Kenyon can't really do anything on the invade, though. You, get the health benefits, you can maybe try and play for enemy blue. Yeah, I want to see this Urgot matchup a bit better. I, I, Keen you played it into Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai before, right? But it didn't really do anything. I mean, that, in this game, it's just Hammer Life, first 10 minutes. In. Solo lanes just need to make sure they don't fall behind too much. And yeah, Peanut just needs to get as many camps as possible. And then they get six, and then just go fight. That guy's last hitting. But the fact like that Zekka is even so against the Zier mid the with fuck Conquer is, is actually insane. To, nice that Rek'Sai went fleet as well in this so matchup. Yeah, impossible to proc grasp. To this is here. They're we getting first Drake. For the first, and, uh, That's not good know, for Gen Yi. Oh, Zekka's calling a roam here. If Keen's dead, maybe. They have so much gap. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. 100% dead. No ideas. Now the ping is going to come out in mid, but might be a bit too late as the Rexai ult. Hard to get away from this one. Wow. This is really weird. It's been a while since I've seen mid lane just roam top and get first blood in pro play. Like, that was really odd the way Keen was playing. He was playing.
playing so far up when Akali was missing and Zero's catching and then he just dies to it. It was really strange. You don't see those kind of plays often. Okay, well. Uh, hey, we all make mistakes. We all make yeah, mistakes. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Chill out. Chill out. Uh, anyway, he was making space. Yeah, he was. Uh, like, this is really strange. Uh, is like, is there no. The this is very side. basic. Is there no miss call? Setup? Did Chobi think so Akali based? Phenomenal. Even if Akali based, why is Keen so far up? Uh, oh, Viper's yeah. gonna want me to them. So, Wait, hold up. The exhaust is now. The roof comes in, but Viper's still on the chase, and now Delight is here as well. Oh, Has Delight misplayed it. He, continue, but he's just gonna he get didn't really flash very far. He wanted the WQ flash, the Nautilus flash, but he and missed it. That play did not work at all. Maybe you yeah, got Q flash, WQ flash, the Helios as well. But if he's able to chase it down quicker. Zeka. Oh my god. Is he nervous? Nice. Bro, he's just rusty. It's been a few years since he's had to bust this one out to get some wins. Genji it's just a bit rusty, don't worry about it. Keen has is maxing Q and W at the no, same time. I mean, there are or do you put three points Q and max W or vice versa? Uh, three points Q into W max? Time, that makes sense. My my experience playing Urgot is I used to main Urgot jungles. Side, like, so much. So his like, fleet's footwork is doing so point, much for Rek'Sai. I'm worried, I'm worried about Genji's damage. And you might think, well, Cajal, what do you mean you worry about their damage? They have Azero Aphelios. I don't think Urgot said you want him to do much. Nautilus is also base damage Endy. And these two are going to struggle to do damage because they have like four champions running after them. Okay, Drake in 20. I would love Hamalai to fight it. They have Brother Belt on Akali. Mega strong. Dekka CSing well, unlike you. Oh, thanks, bro. And... Big fight, here we go. We'll have to see how the fight breaks out. All right, well, X flash over the wall. They want to engage Ooh, on the six. Zeka's one, holding the card. Pick, but now uh, the 1v1 uh, is as well. And now the Zeri looking to chase oh, down. Oh, Zeka, but does he have W? It's hard to join without W. Now the TP coming in from Keen. But here is Doran as well. Looking to turn it on to the Urgot who is left Keen is alone. running it. And down he will go. You know what I mean? It's so hard to hit for Aphelios' really ear. This humble life comp is psycho. I, I longed for a sec to start picking these champs again. It's been years that this guy said like he was going to play a zero corky every game. Yeah, nice zoning from Zeka. They swapped for Herald. I don't know if they're getting away with that swap. Big Hamlife can match easy. They have a Kali TP. Like, and Genji don't have TP, so this swap is like... Um, maybe they should have played for cross map plates, because now Akali can match bot, she has TP, Urgot has the group. Doesn't matter that she doesn't have ghosts. And now the towers can be hit while they have to force Herald. <laughs> but they have no top push. Uh, Zier is going to be bot. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Hamalife can get Herald now, I think. They're chilling. Okay, they put their bot limit now. Alright, a bit better. Chat, I think 90% of the chat are Hamalife fans because Viper is on Hamalife. If Hamalife had, like, aiming, the fan base would dry up in the chat. And then it's because of Zekka. And then if Zekka wasn't there, that's it. Kind of like just alone here. Um, there is a turret, but it's nearly gone. And this Urgot's doing nothing. That, yeah, they're just gonna turn on to Keen here. The Black Flavor is getting some this work Urgot's done like into a Doran, but no flash, no help, and no Urgot. <laughs> what does this dead. Urgot champ do? <laughs> yeah, completely isolated. Keen, uh, back to Cassante. Urgot has no macro. conquer. Yeah, yes, he, the I'm surprised Zekka didn't really take the blue. Themselves ahead. More than I blew on Akali, it's so good. Doesn't need it, I guess. Just, uh, or maybe it's Gen G that took it. Like Akali doesn't have mana. Have if Aphelios gets uptime on three <laughs> items, he will uh, melt Hamalife. Yeah. But uh, getting uptime is really tough ask. Like, Nautilus has to ult. This might sound crazy, but I think Nautilus has to ult Akali. I think Zeri is going to get a lot of free time this game. The problem is Hamalife... The map state's it's obvious that Hamalai's in a fight, right? Because Akali has no objectives knows, to play for uh, in top. They're gonna push bot, maybe they can hit this. Already. But I think they and, should 100% uh, fight this. Genji they have nothing else to do in the game, Hamalai and they have Beast great champs for fighting. Well, they have drakes, but they are they're a bit late though, they're in really late Hamalai. Like, look at Aphelios. This was without Wukong as well. Like, it's just a mess, how do they hit? Oh, they got one. Oh, huge fear. Where was Doran? Oh my god, Pina should have just taken the Drake. You can actually, the Urgot, now that I see it in fights, if he gets one reset on the ult, he actually stops all the melee champs from diving on his carries. What happened there then? Where was Doran? Peanut, like, Peanut also misplays. Peanut flashes in to try and steal, but then Delight flashes in here. Doran's going in. And yes, we see... 
pace go down, bro. Bro, it's absolute it. mess. What Loses happened to Zeri? I didn't even see it. I was looking at Peanut. Fight, and we see the fear that comes what did, what did, what did Viper do? Yeah, uh, I mean, Viper, Viper, yeah, Viper just trolled. Quick, wow, what a great fight by Gen G. I think that was a tough no, fight for them. The, the fact that they won that is crazy. Kobe gets Viper, Zonia's was good, and then, well, like, it wasn't really being hit, but it's good. But then Urkot actually showing why it's useful against these mini champs. Damn, I actually see the value of Urkot so much there. The splash damage plus the ult sphere into minis. Urkot's good into dive pumps, I guess. Yeah, Still think Hamalife's favorite, but early on, very great fight by Gen G. Yeah. Gen G. is terrible. Yeah, it was. I, mean, I think, he just didn't, <laughs> I think Chobi just didn't want to be hit. He didn't want them to turn onto him after a female was dead, I guess. Are they going to force Baron here? They don't have TPs. Hamalife kind of have to. No TPs on Hamalife. They have no flash on Aphelios. But no Zonias on Azir either. This is the Hamalife classic. This is what they did yesterday as well. Or the day before against T1, sorry. They're going to play... They're going to play to burst the Urgot. I guess with Wukong Zeri, they can play front to back. you were talking about. Uh... Uh, he's fine. He's Rex. Yeah, he's Rex. Are you gonna Damn, do that that play? that Urgot got one tapped. Like, wait, Akali die? wasn't even there. Even no, his team fights are fun. Uh, every team is like yeah, changing the way they fight every fight. The the fight. Like, Alistar was thinking of flanking with Akali, and then they were like, mm, nah. But you can see, I guess, without any ults, it's a bit hard for them to. It's a bit hard to contest mid wave. Damage with the AOE shred. Oh wait, oh, no. they had a ward. Pays backing in a very precarious spot. He has to flash, and now he's got Akali. Oh my God, Pays. Pace, pace, pace. All right, here comes the Baron Force. Sekka doesn't have ult, and neither does Viper, but it's all on the all on the Wukong turn. There it is. Oh, nice as ult. Ah, oh, Zeka. This Azir is frying. Oh, Doran's in there. Chovy's trying his best. Chovy's trying his best. If this goes to like four items, maybe Chovy goes Super Saiyan in this game. It's gonna be a while till Elder comes into the game. But uh, the value of Azir here was crazy because of the turn. Also, Chovy's target selection here was fantastic. The AoE splashes them down. But also, as the Rek'Sai enters the fight, he ignores the Rek'Sai, you'll see, and he just tries to push them back. So, like, I think he's, he's aware that he's never killing that Rek'Sai, basically. He knows he's never killing that Rek'Sai in any world. Wait, what's he building there, chat? Is he building Force of Nature? No way, right? What is he building with Negatron Cloak? Oh, Abyssal Mask. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't know if Frozen Heart's worth it this game as well, but... I feel like he needs Nasher's Tooth. Well, I guess the cloth armor makes it Jack Show, yeah. You think Jack Show's better than Abyssal Mask? It's probably better because the fights are long, right? They're gonna force Baron again. It's really hard for Keen to ever catch bot waves. Look, he's going to one bot wave, now he's gonna have to TP in again. This turn from Hamalife has to be crisp because I think Chovy might just kill everyone here. I'm a bit worried for Hamalife here. Gen G's position is pretty good. They have really good movements right now. Oh, Chovy into it a bit. But he's hitting, he's hitting. He's hitting, he's Chovy's just up. carrying. He's still turning this one around alongside Akeen, and now it's gonna be Zekka against Chovy and Zekka. Oh, Zekka! Triple kill already. Oh, Zekka! He's gonna finish this one off. He's got Doran with him as well. Oh, he missed time the Q. Quadra kill for Zekka Zakali. We're so back. We're so back, baby. Zekka, just play Akali every game. Just play Akali every game. Look at how Genji moves around Chovy. It's like he's got four bodyguards. Watch this. It's funny, look at them all just move together around Chovy. It's like... I think Chovy should not flash in here. Oh my god, he's trying to go for Viper. I think he just needs to push them away from his team. He's, he's free hitting, but Zekas just getting through them as well with Conqueror. The Conqueror value on the Akali is crazy. It's just an absolute 9-8 player fucking brawl. All on top of each other. This break takes me back to World 2022, man. This this Zeka Akali is not only insane, but it's also nostalgic. But it's what's gonna happen now is Hamalife just gonna force Baron again after Doran catches bot. Oh, it's Abyssal Mask Frozen Heart actually is here. Man, I, I get the Chobi's building tank, but I feel like this Mada Saka needs damage, man. 
Like, like his team is just gonna die. Oh, here we come, Zaka. They have a tower, though. They have a tower. Yo, 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 guys, they have a tower. Oh my god, they're just going. I don't know if this is good, Hamalife. Baynard! What are they doing, Hamalife? What are they doing? Why did they do that? There was a tower there. And Azir has disengage. Oh no. Gen G getting Baron means the game is going to be so much in so much more of a stable spot. Like, the reason Baron being down, it's good for Gen G is it buys them so much time. Hamalife don't have an objective to force around, so Gen G won't get sucked into any fights. Like, there they have to contest mid wave, they have to find ways into river, they have to hold mid wave, they have to, you know. And they're going to get engaged on constantly by. I think this game is going to be really hard now for Hamalife. There's nothing they can force around. They can't force Gen G into them ever. They, they need five minutes to be able to do that when Baron spawns. So now Gen G is just going to play for towers and just disengage and not really get pulled into any kind of objective. That'll slow down so that Chobi can get frozen hard. I think Pei should just buy GA. He's waiting for Ophelios. And he doesn't want to waste his demolish. Did he waste his demolish on the last second there? Why did he waste his demolish last second? It's still up, right? Holy fuck, that wave has three cannon minions on it. What in the fuck? Three cannon minions? Look at the three cannon minions just blasting the tower. They don't even have to walk up. What a good stack by Chovy. They just have to let the cannons do the work. And all Chen have to do is not get engaged on. Bro, they're still playing this. They're crazy. They have four cannon minions. Okay, well, there goes two of them. The only way to kill these cannons is is, is Zeri W. Oh, how a Gen G are so back from that Baron. They are so barack. Oh, Philios is getting towards GA. They're all just building full tank. Nah, it's kind of cringe. Come on, Gen G. Play Azir Aphelios, build full tank. We're going to MSI. You really, really, guys, really? And then Gen G so quickly turn around on a Viper. Lens is going to flash away. Now the counter engage does come in, but that's a wreck side. That's Ooh, not the hold up, hold up, hold up, Viper's cooking. Hold up, Viper's cooking. Hold up, Viper's cooking. Hold up, Viper's cooking. Canyon slashing it. It's over. They just won the game. They just won the game. They end mid, end mid, end mid. Game's over. They just won. What? They just won the game. Q. Yes. Stop his base. Stop his base. Could they even end here? Yeah, they end. It's over. Yeah, he doesn't have the knock up now. And uh, Sidorin's just going to TP in. They're going for the end as they dive on a Toby. Oh my god, Viper. Viper just won them the game or what? Did Viper just win in the game? Did Viper just win in the game? No, 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 they're really low. They're really low. They're really low. Zeka! What? They won that shit. They won that shit. Are you kidding? Nah, that was a robbery from Hamalife. That was an absolute robbery. Are you kidding? If I was Chovy, I would be fucking furious. How the fuck are you guys dying mid? Are you fucking crazy? I would be furious if I was Chovy. Holy shit. Cho Chovy. Oh my, I would be pissed. That is unacceptable that they lost that game. He did 44k damage. He was completely carrying that game. Oh, that's so frustrating for Chovy. Are they gonna, are they gonna do same bends? Yeah, yeah they banned the Rek'Sai. Okay, thank god. Now they banned Senna, right or what? Now Gen.G first big Zeri instead of uh, Sejuani to deny it. No, they keep the Sejuani first pick. Okay, well Viper gets Zeri again, unless they want to do Lucian Nami. Zeri's in Zao, good. Now, Lucian Nami, or are they going to rock back the Azir? Uh, what is it they picked before, actually? They pick, yeah, they picked the Filios Nort. Yeah, Lucian Nami is better, I think. Wait, hold up. Is this going to be Lucian Nami, Zeri, Lulu? Wait, hold up. Wait, yo. Wait, you don't play. You don't play Lulu, right? The light. You go Nautilus, right? I'm not sad. I'm just disappointed. We went from Akali Urgot to Zeri Lulu Lucian Nami. They're gonna ban Akali. Chat. They're not gonna ban Akali. I mean, they could, but I don't think Akali suits a Lulu draft. They're gonna play Corky or Azir. And they're gonna play Corky Azir. Rantalia Hamalife. Or Yone or Jace. Jacks ban. Wait, why are they banning? Oh, wait, what? Why are they banning Jacks? They banned TF and then they banned Jacks. They did ban Akali. I don't think they. I don't think Akali's played this game with with Lulu Zeri. Like, I think it's a Zero Corky game. At least no a Zero Corky. That's good. I don't know if Talia really fits their draft though. Like, there's no Talia needs. 
and the rocks get thrown Talia down, needs champs with her. Position. They need, you know, like so a, a Vi, Nautilus, Alistar. Like Maybe it's the denial pick. You know, like Aatrox, uh, really good. Jax is bent. Chovy already on soul? Mm. Is that the first time? I've never seen Chovy already on soul. Ooh. And the Jace. I don't like Hamalife's draft. I think this is 1 1. I fucking hate their draft. Talia Sin Zhao is like okay, but with Zeri, Lulu, Jace, Jace doesn't fit in their comp at all. I feel like this comp, the only thing this comp has going for them is it has two different things. It has really good scaling and it has really good side lane. But I don't think that matches up well against Gen G. Let's see. If Lucian Nami runs it, then there's always a chance to win. Wow, Lucian Nami getting level 2 on the first wave. Oh, well, of the second wave, you know what I mean, right? But. Normally, you don't see that. Normally, the Lulu lane always gets first first level up. Isn't the Kali good into Radiant Soul? Uh, it's okay, but Akali was banned anyway. So funny to me that Radiant Soul can stop the wave from hitting the tower. Like, obviously, early on, it doesn't matter too much. If anything, Chobi just griefed four of his last hits there. See what Chobi did there? He knew that the minions were going to die. And he can't get any of them, so he's just going to play for the trade instead. Now, obviously, it's not that OP there. He lost four minions, but um, it's really strong at, on, on Baron Siege. Just, it stops the wave from crashing. Maybe he can one for one it. Nice. If they commit there, I think he one for one it. Yeah, Doran's doing okay. Um, he lived the gank, which is good. Peanut path top early, but then obviously because Peanut base went bot side, Kenyon can clear top the bot again and play for the top gank. Also, Peanut lost his Raptors. Rated. Not the worst, so they're same in XP almost. And he can cover this top guy, uh, dive. I didn't have E. Oh, nice old timer by Chobi, just chunking him. Yeah, nice. Oh, he took the... Oh my god, he took all of them. Except the small one. Jesus. Well, Sejuani's gonna be 6 in one camp, and since out definitely isn't. Zach is coming over. Will he be here in time? Mm, I think he's fine. Miss, and you know what? They just yeah. give it up. Good cover. The wall over, that ward it's not a good game state to be in, though. If um, bot's winning in isolation for really our Gen G and they keep threatening top dives, up in that top side maybe they thing. can look for a bot play here now, but already on Soul is, is, is missing, so they're going to try and redive top. <laughs> Okay, well, well, 07 yeah, Doran, I think. Okay. Maybe. Ah, they don't have Aatrox ult. Do they have the damage? Peanut I'm not sure. Not yeah, not gonna risk it. They have a ward on where like, what, what happened there is as they go for the dive, Jace would just QW the backline and kill the range minions. And then they have no wave to dive on, and <laughs> it's a bit difficult to dive on that wave. It was too small. I think they're gonna try and push this one and dive the next. I still think that Jace can maybe clear the wave, but in hammer form, Jace. Oh, this is a cannon wave. Okay, so this one's much easier to dive on. But now mid jungle has prior, okay. so yeah, Kenny has to give up. Like, yeah, it was a nice try, but timings were uh, not great. If Hamalife didn't cross through mid there, they would have killed him. Ah, it's really bad for Viper to vase on this wave. He's gonna lose a full wave, he has to stay. Yeah, nothing to do here. Oh, something to do here. Now, that ult was a fake ult or what? Like, why is the light flashing that? Like, no one was in range. I guess he was just scared of someone being behind him. He has ult, he has heal. Like, he can play that a lot more, I think. Oh, yeah, Soul could fly on him. Yeah, but he was in mid lane. They could have played that. Yeah, Peanut's in a bit of a weird spot. He has ult, though. Doran is, uh... Ooh, he phase rush. Maybe he can QE the bubs? No. Mm. Yeah, this game's really hard for Hamalife. Really hard game. Maybe they can just get second Drake and just play for Drakes. I don't know. The, the beauty of getting more Drakes is you get more time, right? And then... If you get more time, you can play side lanes more, and then you can... If, if you are the one with early dragons, but you're down in gold, what you can do later on, on like third and fourth dragon, is you can drop dragons for gold, right? So you can recover gold pretty easily. That's why dragons can lead to, like, stabilizing games a lot. Not just because you can slow it down, but because you can trade a lot more effectively. Viper no flash. What is Viper doing? Absolutely does. Viper, very awkward spot like, What here. is he doing? As the tidal wave is going to miss, but all the other CC is going to hit as Viper... Oh, the so here. Lulu, who will <laughs> he was caught well shopping or what? Maybe he didn't see the Sejuani on the vision did. pocket. If Viper, he's here barrier, against the wall, he didn't see Sejuani, well, but uh, no. I feel like he should have seen Sejuani. Oh, that guy might die here. That's a really bad chunk. They're not going to commit. Doran just TP top. They could have TP bot here with Aatrox and force something maybe, but... I guess Talia could ult out by the time they try it. And they don't have Nami ult. Aatrox needs to get a base. Oh, he needs to get a base for his first item. 
and even though he just came back to lane let's get item tv back maybe no he's gonna stop his base okay aatrox first item inbound he's gonna swap bot and everyone's gonna take over top and he's gonna save tp sleeper game <laughs> it's very lululution dumb isn't it they're gonna give herald they're gonna try and hit bot tier one i guess Orion has TP, that, but Jace doesn't, yeah, so Hamalife could be getting sucked into a bad play that. here. He needs to be careful of playing for this bot tower. Herald top, really gets first blood tower for Orion Soul. It's Maybe Orion has a good, good gold situation for next rake. Why does Lucian have a shutdown? What the hell? Oh, they're going for Doran. Oh, the Rylice is so busted. The TP's come in, but maybe the fight's over already. Big. Oh, Zekka's dead. Come out from the soul, but still not a really Zekka all alone here. Or is he? The save! The save from the light, no one dies. Late his first blood. Paid, I thought Zekka was dead here for sure, but play the, the, the Titanic music. Like the I will always bro delight with the fucking save. save. Lulu Rat does its job. Alright, Drake in two seconds. Nice now does Hamalai fight it? Poke, Where's Chase TP you know, going? Yeah, Bottle, yeah, fighting it. Well, if TP goes top, then I guess they don't. Oh, we can push top for free. This uh, on Soul is gonna be level 13 on top wave. This on Soul is fucking is getting pretty scary. Whereas Teleolds, Teleolds can do big work here. Because they have Lucian, right? If Lucian has to E over it, I think a wall like here would be great. Oh, they're engaging. Yeah, perfect wall. But uh, they, they, they cancelled the wall instantly and they weren't doing Drake. The positioning was good, though. Nice, Mikhail's. Oh, Canyon got it. Peanut's just getting solo killed by Keen. Oh, Keen just dies. <laughs> Nice yoink by Kenyon. You know, a back. kill! They don't get but they are setting up here. Chovy over the wall. Here he comes. But now a double Ooh. bubble comes in from Lahens. Getting pretty far. Chovy no flash. Now, nice flash by Viper. Full send. Yeah, just Full send was good. Prospect, so what is Blood doing? Yeah, that wall. I'm surprised he cancelled yeah, it so early. They got Lahens. The the I guess. The I mean, they got Lahens as flash. So maybe he was like, that's enough. Let's just group up and. Yeah. Nice, and nice by Zeka actually. Yeah. Nice by Zeka, really nice. Viper's gonna dash into them, and yes, he cleanses. But Viper, what are we? What are we doing today, Viper? Viper is having so many random misplays. This is the second time he's done this, where he just like dashes in and does, and just gets punished for it. Oh, Viper, man, you're such a. <laughs> Lucian dashed on me, so I had to dash on him. Okay, Viper. Okay. Orion has 270 stacks and stop threatening top tier too. They have four grubs. It's really bad for, for Hamalife. Now they have to send Zekka up here to catch. Otherwise they're bleeding too many minions on overgrouping. Now Genji can maybe look to start it after this next midwave. They always have one side that needs to be caught. Oh, now Genji's positioning is really weird. There are three men jungle AD support both sides. They're kind of split. This positioning from Genji is now just gotten really odd. Uh, maybe so they just want to play for Trovi to push this. Like, no, we'll take the dragon. Pace can maybe I mean, push out this if he wants. What is Genji doing? Genji on's no. really... I think they're maybe... Is this what Soft's contesting is here? Are they just the fake fighting this? Threat. Maybe trying to steal? Well, no, nope, they're TPing. They're going for it. Okay, uh, they're not going to get top tier too. Uh, Peanut still in the pit, waiting for this one. Whoa, what? How did Lehens get one shot like that? Locked down a target, even gets booped back by the wall, but they're still on the chase. They should be able to get Canyon. They also Canyon's dead too. Up that Drake, of course. I don't think Humble Life can get to Nash in time. Will go down, and they should give this kill over to Viper. It's gonna take them way too long. Maybe they can base and run out to Baron though. Forty seconds is a long time. Gonna take them a while to get there, but they could try it if they want. It was really weird from Genji. They were so late to pulling the trigger on the fight. The Sejuani ult was early. Nami ult wasn't used to zone. Already on Soul was split. The TP wasn't coming in until after like the fight was already weird. Like look where Already on Soul is. He has to use his fly to try and join. But then I still zoned. Sejuani ult's down. How does it? Oh, it was Jace QE. I think Genji should have just played for top tower and mid tower. Like, look at the HP of those towers. Maybe they should have dropped it and taken them. They missed the local gold, right? Look at this guy. He wrote, BLG is afraid of BLG, their father. He's trying to say Genji. But he fucked it up, so the joke wasn't good. 
Uh, especially, I mean, the Sinduani ultimates have just not been good. Peanut now going to get bubbled, though, in a bit of trouble. But again, Garden, or, yeah. Man, Genji are Zinza slipping. Ultimate. They are slipping. Maybe Damwon is just... Damwon broke Genji. Huh? What do you well, think about that? So All right, Terry has IE now, so that's a bit scary. Damwon was one Elder Dragon away from making it to this series. Yeah, true. Genji lucky. Yeah, well, I mean, Pace has to carry, them, and Pace like is the only one that's been inting on Gen G through that. playoffs, so yeah, that's not a great sign. Toby 16, though, in a seed that upgraded ult. Just imagine the storyline: Damwon, Hanwha Life, upper bracket finals. Tell me that. Tell me that would have happened two months ago. Okay, they got Sinza ult. Nice ult from Aurelion as well. It's a nice chunk, but Chovy is getting murdered. The majority of his health. Like this, like Doran is doing work this game. Like Doran is kind of like unsung hero of this game of keeping prio and keeping push. He didn't die to the ganks, he didn't die to the dives. And now he's actually strong enough to force them back. Like his QEs do damage. Oh, Doran is playing really confident. Oh, miss. Pace is in there! Pace! Oh, Viper just punished him. But Keen pulls it back. Oh, Doran! Can't get Chovy. Oh, Pace, Pace, Pace. What's he doing? He's dashing in like that. You don't have TP on Chovy, but he has his upgraded ult when he comes back. Oh, he needs to be careful. I feel like Pace. Oh, that was a big mistake by Pace. I don't know if both. I don't know if Gen G. Oh, Doran. Was that blind? Was that just a blind snipe? That's a huge pick. I don't think he had any vision there. He probably guessed. He kind of knew Nami was basing there, but that was a guess, I think, by the looks of the map. Oh, he dashes it through Talia. -E. What? That was disgusting, Pace. Oh, he sees him recalling. Oh, he, oh, he just gets a t how? Oh, he just gets a little tap of vision from Talia. Oh, it was Horizon Focus. Yeah, maybe Orcs is right. Yeah, it was really like if you looked at the map, it was really weird that vision on Nami there. So it's Soul Point for Hammer Life and the Jace. Wow, I thought the Jace wasn't gonna do much in this comp, but if no one fights, then I guess Jace is just gonna keep murdering him slowly. Doran just plays the group and oh, oh my. God, what, what did Zeka just do? What is everyone doing this series? I, I get that it's Pogchamp, but like, Viper dashes in midwave, dies. Pace dashes into Leah, he dies. Zeka chunks Aatrox, flashes on top of himself. What is everyone doing? I'm alive, doing Baron. Jace QE. Oi, 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 this hurts. Nice cancel by King. Zeka no flash from earlier, though. Oh my god, and Viper dashed in and died again! Viper! Uh, Delight didn't ult him! Delight still has ult! Ah, Delight died with ult! Oh my god, this was disgusting! What is going on? Ugh. Guys, 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 what are we doing? Genji is back. Oh, Zeka. If he didn't waste flash earlier. And then watch Viper. I mean, actually, Viper tried to dash out of Aurelion solo. Oh, yeah, the positioning was really weird for Viper. Uh, the only way he lives there is if he dashes out. But that would have looked even weirder. Okay, well, it's a fucking shit fest. It's a shit. It's a certified shit fest. That Chovy ult was dangerous for Viper. What does Viper have in base? Does he have uh, shield bow? Is he building? Yeah, he does. But bro, these are the kind of games I like. I don't want perfect play, macro, no kills, bro. Just fucking run it down a bit. Come on. Flash into a wall. Why not? What is Sejuani ult cooldown? I feel like Canyon and Peanut are permanently trading ults. Looks like cooldown's roughly the same. Level 18 array on soul with four items is scary. Oh, pace. Gonna have that Seraph's. There's the Lucian power. Both waves coming in. Baron for 50. They have a big top wave to catch. I think they're just going to have to play for this and reset for Drake. Look at Chovy flying across the whole map all the way to top. <laughs> he just flew from mid to top side river in like three or four seconds. Bro, the size of that E is ridiculous, isn't it? Already on Soul is OP as fuck. Like this champ, every game I watch already on Soul, it's fucking winning. Or it's so OP that it takes ages for them to end. What is already on Soul win rate right now? 17 to 9. 65% win rate that champ right now. It's 8 and 3 on this patch, I think. Uh, the Jace can't... Oh, he's trying to poke through them. Look at that, Aurelius. He just co covered the whole choke. The whole choke. Look at Peanuts HP! Well, and now Zekka in 
Oh, Zeka hit. Nice, Mikhail's. Holy uh, fuck, the light. That was quick. Already on E is back up, probably. It's time to control the choke. <laughs> look, 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 look. Look! I actually want Gen G to win this game. I want the, I want the five game series. I mean, these are some of the best players in the league just fucking going at it. You want, you want five games. This already on Soul the absolute nuclear missile. Look at the size of the E. Okay, what that hit viper, viper? really oh my god Aatrox, no flash zeka no flash too holy fuck genji are so close to just killing everyone here here comes the Orion soul ult here it comes jace qe maybe christ did it no he doesn't play for the fight uh zeka's mega dead Oh, the Leandris! What did he just heal him with? Yo, what did he just get healed with? Was that Mikhail's to heal him? Oh. Oh, pace damage, baby. That's J. That's GG. As he jumps into the two of them. They're trying to get some vision around around this Drake. It has cost them dearly, and now Genji should just be able to end. On like esports, and try and make a desperation play, but I don't think they have a good chance. <laughs> yep, definitely. Oh, nice try, flash bubble. Genji looks like they have done it. No knock up here on the Toby. And uh, yeah, they're just trying. Yo, to Zeka, listen. I like the Talia. Slam Akali every game. Akali Yone only. Slam it. It's gonna be a banger series though. Are they first picking Jerry? Because Kalista will get banned now, right? Oh, Rek'Sai. Yeah, Rek'Sai Vi is up. Do you take Zeri Vi as Genji? These are like two of the most contested picks after Rek'Sai, I think. Zeri Vi North, Rek'Sai, Dejuani. A Kali maybe? Or Nolt Denial? What did they pick Vi, right? The Zeri can't move against Vi Nautilus. Why did they pick Azir there? Why don't they deny Vi? They're not gonna play Dive. They're gonna play Range. Are they doing Jinx Thresh? Jinx Corky? Jinx Vi? Oh. I don't think you should play Jinx Vi. I think they should just pick Corky here. Isn't it better to play Nautilus Corky there then? Because yeah. on 4 or 5 you have Kai'Sa, Fidel's Jinx. What mids do you ban? Is Akali worth banning? They, they ban Thresh. Tom Kench is also... Yeah. Is it yeah. worth yeah. a ban? Probably not, right? Jerry Azir versus Tom, they just murder him. Is it worth for them to ban Urgot? I don't like the Urgot champ though. I think Jarvan ban can work, Lee Sin ban. Lee Sin ban makes me think that they're playing um, Akali. Why would you ban Lee Sin? I think it's better to match top because you can play Poppy on 5, but it doesn't really matter that much. Now if they play Akali on 4, they can play Poppy on 5. Good to pick Toppy there, uh, top there. Yeah, I don't think Tom Kench is a good pick. I hate this Hammer Life draft as well. Oh my Tom god. Kench, I think, to me stands out as what are they picking? Here, they're playing Vi with Tom Kench. Oh my god. Why are they playing Tom if they're going to play Vi Ari? Well, I mean, Poppy could work here now. Not too bad, Poppy, actually. Knock away Rek'Sai. Knock away Tom. I don't like Hammer Life draft at all. Oh, Jax is not bad at all, actually. Why is Jax good there? Jax wins your top jungle 2v2. Jax wins top jungle 2v2 because Rek'Sai and Vi are super auto-attack based. And so Jax just kind of wins it. But uh, personally, I mean, I, th I can see Orcs' arguments. And um, I think draft can be subjective at times. Personally, I don't think Hummel Life's draft is good at all. I think Ari Vi needs follow-up. Because Ari Vi in the mid game, if it's not ahead, can lack damage. But they have really good single target. So if Ari Vi Jinx ult can kill the first target, then they'll be fine. And they're probably their first target in most of these cases is Rumble. But uh, yeah, if you actually look at their draft in isolation, they have pushing top. The only thing that I think is weak about Genji's draft is they have a losing mid jungle 2v2 post 6. If they're not careful. But they are playing Sejuani as zero, so they can just play a bit back, you know. I think this Hammer Life comp can lack damage real quick if they don't get ahead. Hammer Life hater? I want Hammer Life to win the series. I want Hammer Life at MSI. That sounds, si that sounds sick. But I know that like 
That's clearly expensive. During internationals, there are certain uh, fans that, that don't watch league, right? But the the, the, the thing is, they know, do watch internationals, so, so they come back at internationals, since they and they're like, blade, "What the like fuck?" So and they spew out really all these opinions as if they've been in, watching so the teams all year. Really so the last time the international fans saw Zeka or some shit, and they thought about he was good, they were like 2022 Worlds, and they're like, "Oh my God, Zeka! That guy's probably really washed by now. It's been over a year and a half, you know." And there's nothing wrong with that. People don't have time to keep up with domestic leagues, but they'll they'll compare players at internationals to their last international performance, you know, that they watched. That's why Scout, I think, always gets really underrated. Because his international performances after he won Worlds were, like, a bit mid. But domestically, he won MVPs back-to-back. -back. So it was like, uh, yeah. Jinx gets a lot of early lane push, actually. He can control the wave against most AD carries, actually. That don't have all-in because of her rockets are so strong. I think it's three auto attacks and the range creeps are dead with rocket form. Oh, Canyon's a bit slow to this. He's gonna lose this crab. Canyon's trying to base and run bot and get bot crab quick. Got a grass attack. Yeah, thank you. And I'll stream here until the end of the series, and then they're probably gonna have to stream. Flash on in, and Kane is in a lot of trouble. For me. So they might have to stream for me for like 20 minutes in the studio. Uh, Keen's dead, but that was sick. Nice turn by Keen. Nice turn by Keen. Two to one for Grubs. Keen got first blood. Wave was fine. Not bad for Genji. Did I say wave was? Did I say wave? I don't know. What? That hook hit? Huh? I said wave was fine, yeah, I thought so. I mean, if Doran has damage to kill him on the knockup, he kills him, right? But he doesn't. Maybe if he had E, he could kill him. I'm not sure what the E range is there. I mean, Doran thought he had a kill, right? Doran thought he had a kill, a kill, a kill angle. Dragon's gone. Nice pickup for Hamalife. Hamalife needs to start getting advantages soon. Rumble. Rumble. Yeah, I mean, even well, there was a Jinx ult like, or what like just flew past my screen. Like, Toby flashed. What just happened? Like full blast, uh, Observer just missed so much. I'm guessing Zeka ult's gonna go on cooldown now as well. It just you see, what so what happened then? Toby flashed, Jinx ulted. Build. What happened mid? Oh, oh, Keen. Uh, You're dead. dead. Is here. Wow, this is a mega play. Oh, a nice ult. He actually got the wave. That was a mega play by Hamalife. That was a really good play. Wow. Kind of really good, really good jungle support play by Hamalife. I, I actually didn't yeah, expect so them to be able to pull off a top gank to him, while Jinx is catching and pushing bot wave <laughs> and <laughs> what there's no cross map. Canyon's yeah. showing top as well. You know, really he flashed out a range of Vild from Vaiq. Yeah. I wonder if the Azir flash is going to come to sting um, him. Viper. Holy Fine. fuck, Rumble. Is taking everything, and this time with the oh, maybe you can kill him with Flash, but... On. Oh my no, god, Peanut timing so unlucky for Keen. That is so unlucky. No way. Oh, Peanut, what a timing. Bro, Peanut and Doran run this region, don't they? Holy fuck. Let's go, baby. This is going to be a similar game to game one, except this time they have a bit more range. That's Peanut so sad for Keen, now, though. Like, this. perfect timing oh, by Peanut. Oh, perfect was timing. Sick, he Peanut was sitting in that bush for like, for like, five, six I seconds. So I feel bad for Keen a little bit, though. Like, this is so annoying. Solo kill top, jungle comes, one for ones it. Jungle support comes, kills you on a nice wave. Going for another solo kill, jungle stops it last second. Like, this is fucking horrible being Keen. Rumble is still rumbling, though. All right, Drake fight. Is Chovy gonna TP in here? Does he have Leandris in base? Probably, right? Malik dance on Ari. Oh my God! What a steal from Canyon. Does Genji just back here? Big charm. Pays no cleanse. Lehens dies and they're out. Or are they out? Canyon needs jump. Zeka. Oh, clean by Zeka. Well, oh, Hamalife are running this game now. Doran TP'd in, so Keen gets freed up a bit. Maybe he gets a full tower, actually. So the gold's probably going to be close, actually, now that Keen gets a top tower. They're going to catch up a bit. I think Genji should have been a bit more decisive there when they got the steal. They should have just called to get out quick. I guess you could see them doing it, but... Oh, no. He saw the pet? No, he didn't. You can't see the pet chat. It's invisible. Yeah, I mean, I guess they did try and disengage after the steal, but... Like, this fight's always losing, because even if you're winning, you're losing because of Rek'Sai TP. And yeah, they do try and get out, I guess. Uh, Are Genji just, anything? Just no, I just think top got mega there. unlucky. And uh, yeah, they don't have TP top either, so fighting Drakes is a bit sketchy. Also, Ari Vi early is mega strong. I'm not Keen's lawyer. 
I'm actually the prosecutor. I want Tamo Life to win. That it cost. As so comes down with the zap and Peanut, he's so tanky. He is gonna go down, but the devourer comes through and delight. He's in a really rough spot. Your, himself. your king's lawyer. I'm not the. That was really lucky by uh, lucky for Hamalife to get out there. If Peanut died and gave the shutdown over to Rumble. Rumble is going to be uh, absolutely off the rails. Oh, nice flash by Doran. Flash nice sidestep by Chobi, though. Himself. He lives, maybe. Just is he the ult the Ah, uh, yeah, away. he did hit it. The, the edge of that one oh, never mind. He's dead, maybe. Oh, my God. Chobi played that pretty much perfectly. Ult, what more can he do? Down. They get top tower now. That's huge. Genji get bot tier one. He's giving the gold to Zega. Or he's saying, get the tower, I go bot. Drake's in 58. Pretty big dragon. Oh, they're double TPing both well. sides. Double TP is a bit now. risky. Oh, Rumble's not bad at all. Nice hook. Let's see the ult. Lens is going to die to ignite. Oh, die to Rexai. Oh, Canyon. It's maybe going to die. Is there a ult missed, or? Oh, Chovy! What a vile! What a mega vile by Peanut. Oh, this fight's so close. Chovy! He's sending it! And it looks like he might just be able to oh, Canyon, you see what Canyon did there? He's so cocky! Do you see? What is Kane flashing for? Bro, I want you to look at Canyon's movement, because sometimes not moving is the most cocky thing you can do. I'll show you it in a sec. So they chunk out Peanut. Rumble here was really good. It really fucked the vibe positioning and forced to eat. Hook was good to keep the fight going because they need to keep the fight going. Lehens would die to ignite here, but Doran then ults in instead. Charm misses. Keen sidesteps it pretty well. Kenyon jumps out with the E. Zaka goes over the wall to the top side, but then Chovy goes to his soldier, gets Viper. Peanut's ult was crazy to cancel the knockback. And then Zeri's free hitting. The light flashed into the wall. Now watch watch Canyon's movement here. Watch Canyon. He knows Ari combo's coming out. Look. Oh no, they cut it just in time! You rats! Bro, Chovy is like frontline, engage, damage, shot call, he's everything. Chovy got absolutely into it in game one. Oh my god, absolute wombo combo. What is that wombo combo? Jesus! Genji called napping. They actually got two back for that. It was kind of crazy. They went two for four in that. Doran, mega knock up. Look at Doran. Knocks up all four. Four man knock up on Rek'Sai? When the hell has that ever happened? They didn't get Nash off it because Peanut died. But that was a crazy knock up. What is Rumble building, chat? Is he building Jack Show? Just cook him! Don't look Jinx items? Nah, no, I won't look. Oh my god, I looked. Hell yeah, Viper. Actually, it's kind of funny, though. If Hamalife wins, then Chovy pays with a problem. If Genji wins, then Doran Peanut Delight with a problem. <laughs> Chovy's behind in CS. Yeah, he had to let his individual performance slip because his team's completely inting it. Like, Lehens is having a fucking horrible series. Two bruisery AP champs here on the side of Gen G. Doran's eating. King got a lot of damage out there, and the light got caught. Really the one he like losing oh, they're gonna force Nash. They have a lot of Nash damage. I mean, you still have nice pain potential. You take someone out immediately. If he steals this, he can win the game. Potential for the steal as equalizer doesn't do much. They get in the back. He didn't steal it. I think Gen G just won the game. They just have to Viper let him die. Gets away. Zeko over the wall with the flash. And will pick up a second Viper. kill. Viper. No. Genji's back. Genji is so back. And their comp scales really well, so... Dangerous things. It's Viper needs to do work this series now. He needs to do work this game. Good force. The light getting caught. Nice charm flash. Got BT off that Viper. Yeah, this Jinx is getting scary. The problem is Jinx doesn't have summoners. Just Tom Kench, but no sums means she can't play... Cocky, you know? She can't play, like, in their face. Big chunk on the canyon. There's no Drake for two minutes, though. Um, I suppose somebody had to, but there's no dragon for two minutes. Uh, as now another charm is going to land. Spirit Not that much utilized. damage from Zekka. He used ult as well. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, though. Our ult cooldown is so low. He's only level 15, so it won't be that that short, but it's it's so low, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he has Jack Show. Tank Rumble. Well, oh, the Baron has slowed the game down for Genji. And Jinx is... Uh, I mean, Zeri's catching up to Jinx. 
I think the Azir is such a game changer in this game. Because this is where the comp of Hammerlife starts to like become desynced. Tom plays back. Oh, what? Chovy, what? Chovy, what? Chovy, what? Chovy, what? Everybody on the side of Genji getting under that turret has now the turn trying to come out here, but there's not a lot of damage left on the side of Hamalai Esports, and Pays is running rampant in that backline. Zeka is very Jesus, Chovy. Like, he's 0, 3, and 6, but the weight of the game that he's carrying is unreal. 10 seconds on Drake. A 0 on Davult, but Jinx is dead. Does Zeri have LDR in base? If Zeri has LDR in base, I think this game is done. Oh my god, she's matching Jinx. And Azir is going to have Frozen Heart in base as well. I think it's it's a, it's a horror for Hamalife now. I just don't think Hamalife have the damage anymore. They are just out damaged. And this Rumble is going Renduins. Like, this Rumble is going to be a mega tank. He knows their only damage is Jinx. He's just going to go Renduins. What a play by Chovy. What a play by Chovy. Just full sense it. No, no sums on Jinx. Just push. If if Tom Kench eats, she gets pushed with him. Just ballsy play by Chovy. It's a simple play. Of course it's a simple play. It's not that hard mechanically, is it? But going for it is like respect. Baseball BF sword instead of Doran's. Still winnable for Hammerlife though. They are playing single target. They just need to land the single target. It's just a bit diff difficult. Oh, Chovy mistake. Maybe not a mistake. He's fine. He has Zonyas as well, actually. Like It doesn't matter. Here comes the Baron Force, and they have almost, they don't have Rumble ult, oh Zekka? They ulted onto, oh Chovy! Yeah Zonyas. Kenyon? No sums on Jinx, yeah let's go on, easy win. Oi oi oi, Hammerlife. I think they, they need to realize this game is, uh, this series needs to be pretty scaly heavy. Uh, I think they need to change it up, man. The Tom Kench just has no job this game. I know Delight into it, but like, Tom Kench this game just feels so useless. Oh, four man knock up. Yo, hold, hold, hold. They're gonna hold the other ult on the Chovy. Yo, it's you, True Hammerlife. Wait, can they end mid on the bounce? 50 seconds, just send it down mid. Is that it? Just send it. Go, 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 go. Just fucking go for it. Now they're gonna go Baron. Oh man. Oh man. What about TP bot push mid? Come on, man. Okay, well the game just swung completely out of their favor now. What is happening? The game was over for Gen G. The Doran four man Rex side knockup. Bro, if Chovy loses this one as well, he's gonna be fucking out of it there. He's gonna be out of it. Oh, their wave died quickly. Oi, oi, oi. Doran. Wait, uh, they just got so much gold. Look at the gold. Look how much gold Hammerlife just got. They just got like 4 or 5k gold. <laughs> what a shit fest. Rumble frontline. Nice hook by the hands, but the mock up's gonna hit. Yo, Doran's pretty tanky, but he's gonna die. Toby's going in. He's in their head. Toby didn't even ult. Toby's just chasing the Jinx everywhere. He's trying to protect. Pe Bro, Toby's fighting is so epic. Ooh, he even baited the observer there. Chovy's team fighting is so epic. I didn't watch anyone else, so if anyone else clutched that, that was crazy. But Chovy literally just ran at Jinx in a straight line. He didn't hit anyone. Ran at Jinx, dashed on her, made Tom Kench eat, didn't ult. Saw his Zeri was in GA, saved the Zeri. Like, he's just... He's just playing fights so well. You could definitely, like, um, misplay that fight so easily by Chovy if you just, like, dashed in and ulted and Tom Kench ate, and then, then you're useless. But he's got so much patience, like... It doesn't look complicated, but it, it, the, the patience is crazy by Chovy. Just watch Chovy. You'll see here, look, dashes. Doesn't ult, though. Doesn't ult. Now look at, look at Chovy. He's not gonna hit. He's just gonna keep running in a straight line. Then he sees Jinx, kills Jinx. Holds the ult. Zeri's in GA. Swoops him off Zeri. Protects Zeri. But I don't know, he just plays it. It's simple, but he plays it so correct. You're ulting it, you're kicking his ult. I mean, what do you want, man? It's a 40 minute team fight, and Azir just dashed on his Jinx. Uh, I feel like most people would just drop an eat there, right? Like, there's no way he's faking it. Oh, he ran the wrong way? Oh, okay. Oh, he's Zeka. Oh, they're talking about where he spat him out. Oh. All I remember is he was in the pit.
not going it's just me or is Chobi sat on these items this, for a while? But it's working. But so it, this is the first game in a while where I'm seeing Chovy is not Chovying, but he's like full sending every team fight. What happened? Kind of he changed. Yeah, he doesn't get kills. Right he now, doesn't play for KDA. He stops power power farming. He's just fucking going in. That, that just Man, he's changing. Oh, um, Downloaded a new update. What is what is he building with that Kindle gem then, Keen? Yeah. Is he going another tank item chat? I think Just going kind of full tank at Rumble? Warmogs? I don't know if he's going to go Warmogs. It would be funny if he goes Knight's Vow and puts it on Zeri as Rumble. That would just be fucking cinema if he does that. Anathema? Yeah, probably Anathema. But I guess, who does he put Anathema on? Because he built Renduins for Jinx anyway already. Need to play slow here, Genji. Amalife has good set. Oh, Viper level 18. Yeah, hell yeah. Six item Jinx level 18. Come on, boys. Watch out for the charm. Somebody's got a face check. The guy with no the charm. Turret down in they have mountain well, soul, so don't forget. Jekka? Oh. Oh. Yeah, him, and now an oh, right he forces Ari out to fight. Not Pretty bad. Pretty low, though, is the Ari. Rumble's gonna be a bit longer and than Ari ult, though. Gonna be longer cool down on this one. Chobi getting poked oh, down Chobi well, has no TP. Well. Hop wave is a problem. Hop wave is a bit of a problem right now. They could play on top. I think Genji are realizing top wave's a problem. Ari ults back here. up. Is, nice macro by Hamalife. Ari has TP. She needs to TP in now. Where's Ari? She needs to TP on the wave. Quick. She needs to cover them. Zekka's not TPing. Why is Zekka not TPing? Oh my god. They think they can get out without the TP? They think they can get out? Where's Zekka's TP? He's gonna die. Oh, Chovy! Just fucking kills the Rek'Sai with that. Oh, Peanut! I think if he went in, he would die anyway. Oh, Zekka needs to be careful. The flash. Oh! Big stun. It's over. It's over. Yo, Zekka needed to be there earlier. Late, late game. TPing in as the fight starts is not good. The fights are too quick. You need to be there instantly. Canyon not on the sedge. Damn. Would Rumble build Knight's Vow for his AD carry because they're broken? I guess we'll never know. Alright. Match point for Genji. Zeri first pick. Wow, Hama thinks Zeri is where it's at. So they're gonna get Rek'Sai Nort, Rek'Sai Vi, Rek'Sai Sedge. I think Azir maybe 1-2 for Genji is good as well. I think Azir, Azir was mega carrying. Nautilus is good lockdown. The only reason I'm afraid of Nautilus here is uh, I do think like, for example, if they pick Nort here, I think amazing pick is Sedge Brown. I don't think they're going to go for it because I feel like they're probably going to do some random Rek'Sai pick and shit like that. And I get Rek'Sai's OP, but I really think Sedge Yoni Brown here, if not Rek'Sai Brown, is so good for the comp. It's so good for the comp. Okay, I don't like the Vi. I don't really like the Vi. I think the the, 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 the the comps that are winning are like the, the front-to-back Sejuani Aziri comps. You never like Vi? I like Vi a lot, actually. I like Vi a lot, but... I just feel like what's going to happen is Vi is going to get picked. They're going to ban, like, I don't know, uh, Rel Lee Sin. He's going to find, like, Sejuani or, or fucking Wukong on 4 anyway. And then... The, or maybe they're going to ban Rek'Sai here or something. Uh, man, Ari or some shit. And then on 5... On 4, they're going to have to blind, like, Kasante. And then they're going to have to find maybe Talia. And then uh, I think with Sejuani and Wukong, they're just going to last pick like Rumble or Aatrox. And I think it's just it's just really hard because the Vi doesn't commit onto anyone. I think Wukong Rumble could be amazing here. Or they could play... They have two options. They could play Wukong Rumble or they could play like some kind of Kai'Sa Jace, which could be um, also pretty poor champ. Yeah, there's Sejuani. I think Wukong Rumble or some kind of Jace would be great. Oh, they're going to deny the Kassante. I don't think that's a big deal. I mean, Doran can just play Nar. Or, or, or Aatrox. Or, yeah, Jace is okay, but there's the Talia. Yeah, I think it's so winning. I don't know. I think Wukong on 5 here and wrap it up 3-1. Or Belveth's actually not bad. Nah, Belveth's pretty shit. Never mind. Oh, Canyon Lee Sin on 5? Jesus. All right, that works for me. Unplayable Lee Sin draft? No, it's not that unplayable. He has a lot of good targets. Like, if it was Ari, I'd be a bit more annoyed, but it's actually fine. Because Talia is, like, as long as, like, you think of Lee Sin as this champ, 
Obviously, if they had Poppy, it's really annoying, but Talia right E is really annoying for Lee Sin, and Rakan is really annoying in front of backs, but what Lee Sin will just play around here and sit in bushes. And he'll just war jump kick Talia or Jace or, or Zeri. I think he has good targets. Best Lee Sin in the world incoming. Depends what skin he's using. If Canyon's using the fucking Goldfist Lee Sin again, then... Is it Goldfist that he uses? No, it's not. He uses a different skin to Muay Thai sometimes. Oh yeah, he uses the Storm Dragon Lee Sin, I think. If he's using Storm Dragon or Muay Thai, he's gonna be the best Lee Sin. If he's using anything else, he's just bend. Oh, he's using Godfist. Oh my god, yeah, it's 2-2. Wait, that ward is weird. If he hugs the left side... Maybe he can live. Oh, Canyon hits those. Oh my god. What a kill by Canyon. What a kill. Bro, Canyon Vision Toggle Guru, I swear. Zekka's dead. Well, maybe Gen G's just gonna wrap it up and go to MSI chat. Yeah, it's a hard game already for Humble Life, but it's okay. When the Vitalia 6, maybe they can start cooking around the map. No flash on Lehens either, he's dead. Yeah, turn around. They want to punish Lehens for the play he just made, and they will, in fact, do that. Give it to Viper and pray. Pray. Viper Al Gaib. That's what you need to say. Come on, Viper. Come on. Don't fucking end this one. Last one, you yeah. ran it on Zeri. Oh, you didn't run it, but like some of those fights, bro, wake up. Don't do the Jackie Love. Jackie Love's playing tomorrow. You're playing today. No Jackie Love. What is this Lee Sin up to? He's nowhere near level 6. They're going to try and dive top. Yo, 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 yo. I'm alive. We can play this. 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 We, can play this. we, can play this. we have Talia Oh, my God. Don't get ulted into them. Oh, no. Peanut. Oh, Peanut. Oh, the knockback by Doran. Was that the knockback by Doran? Oh, Zeka! You have no mana, Zeka! You have no mana! I mean, one for one. Still not great that Jace dies there, but... Oh, if Zeka had mana. Did Jace interrupt Chovy's dash, or did he just fuck it up? Because if Jace interrupted that, then holy fuck, honor Doran. Ooh, this fight could work for Hammer Life. But Chovy is really strong. The light's getting free chunked. Peanut, they both have the uh, the 600 smite. So anyone's gonna get this dragon. God knows who's gets it, who's gonna get it. Nice Q by Canyon. Easy secure. Yo, Canyon is just clean, isn't he? He's just clean with it. He's just clean with it. The J pick is useless. I mean, the J pick's not for lane. It's for out of lane. Just to control the game a bit more with poke, but... He's definitely behind right now. He's almost down a full level. Debated. Oh! Wait, why did Peanut flash to the side? What? Was he scared of getting Q3 ulted? So what? This Jace is getting blasted. He's gonna die again, maybe. He sees them, but how does he escape? He needs the whole fucking gang to arrive right now. Oh, this is bad for Genji. Oh, this is bad for Genji. Get the lease in! Oh my god, Viper is mega fed. Huge play. Yo, keep coming top. Milky, milky top tower. Viper, I'll guide. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, Viper. Cook him up. You are the chosen one. You will break Genji. You will do what damn one could not. But they almost did. Chat, I just have one question. I'm watching all these LCK best of fives. Where was it? Where's KT? I don't know. What happened? Just curious. Where's KT at? The... Oh, they lost to Damon, did they? Oh, did they? Game's gonna slow down a little bit. It's okay, though. Oh, Doran is taking a lot of damage. And Keen has TP. He's that ward that right there in the blue buff. That blue buff ward looks kind of nice. No, he's TPing on the pink. Oh my god, Chovy. Oh my! Oh, Canyon can enter it. Maybe, maybe, maybe Viper can clean. Nah, no, he can't get through. He can't get through Cassante. I think he's gonna have to play like a psycho here, Viper. Yo, Viper spacing is unbelievable. Viper is a god, and so is Doran. Viper and Doran, that was unreal. 
How did they turn that? Viper is fucking possessed. Did you see his spacing? He played on the edge. On the edge. He gets shuffled. He's over it. Look at his spacing here. Canyon flashes the flash. Flashes the kick. W through. Keeps the stacks up. Then starts moving forward. Gets Chovy quick. Still spaces the Cassante. Dodges everything. Doran is frying as well, by the way. No, props to Doran. He missed a couple cues there, but it is what it is. Yo, Doran is my MVP, though. Holy fuck, Doran. But it's crazy that Doran did that much work on Jace when he was like 1-2, one, 1-3. One, he was going crazy on that fight, Doran. Yo, that was sick, that fight. It's all point for Gen G, but I don't know if my cuss can fight it. Sweeping jinxes. Yo, Doran, don't get caught. They have Kaisa ult. Ow, Mike. Doran has TP, though. The, the, the consequence of that pick is they lose top tier one. I don't need to lose Drake, though. Wait, did he see Lahenz Where is my... Why is he going, man? His whole team's bot side. You can't walk so. in the top side river like that. Yo, Doran, man, I, I, wake so, up. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Yeah, let, let's say he did. Lock it in, lock it in. Yeah, no, oh, Kai'Sa has rage bait. Maybe they do uh, fancy a fight. Nah, they're cross-mapping this bitch. Meanwhile, Zekka's like, oh crap. Whoa, Now, maybe they can get a top tier two. They have Demolish, right? They have six Grubbies in Demolish. Maybe they get top tier two here. Do, do you send it? The wave's so far, it's coming. Maybe Chobi's calling it off. Nope, he's not. Yeah, just fucking send it. Damn, the grubby yeah. damage. They're murdering the tower. Huge gold. Huge gold. Viper, 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 Viper. Viper, 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 Viper. You're gonna have to make a magic. You're gonna have to create magic from thin air. And you're gonna have to take that magic and uh, destroy the Church of Chovy. Huge shutdown for Zeri. What about Baron? We didn't use any ults. Risk it. Risk it. Risk it. We're the ones with balls here. Or turn that shit. Ow! They like you good, you good, you good, you good, you good. It's okay, we get one, we get one. We back, 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 back. What is that Azir doing? Where is he going? Oh my god, he's out. Holy fuck, Chovy. Mm. That was a huge pick. Well, they gave 450 gold to Zeri again. And, uh, I mean, the Baron Force wasn't the best. The turn was kind of scuffed. Like, Nautilus flashes and then hooks him back in. So, obviously, it's so Gen G favorite. But they managed to get the Nautilus in the end. They, they got a Zero flash too. <laughs> Not too bad. So, Zeri you know, item. Nice pick, Bring me a game five. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, that through. Nautilus. What are you doing, bro? Back up, back up, back up. Ooh, a wall. No flash on Nelt. Viper, how are we getting hooked? Oh my god, Viper lost flash. Oh, Viper has to play a bit safe here. Watch out for Canyon Ward jump flash kick. There it is, Chubby! Now! Zeka, can you cook? Zeka, can you cook? They're all 1 HP. Q, Q, Q! Q, Q! Come on, Zeka! Oh, uh, Viper! Viper got hit by Nautilus Hook, so he had to flash because Lee Sin queued him. Like, look at this. Look at this position. Zeka wall, great. Lehens is caught. Viper walks up. Peanut queues out of the way, so Zeri gets hooked. Now Zeri has to flash in case Lee Sin kicks, and now Zeri's playing the fight with no flash. Look at him. It's hard to play the fight. How does he hit? Ah, oh, Chovy is so fucking clean, though. Jesus Christ. Like, he is making fun of everyone. Like, this fight from Chovy was insane. Like, not only does he do that, but he also sidesteps Rakan W. Then, he Zonyas is the Talia combo. Like, like, what more do you want from this motherfucker? Kobe is just here. fucking unreal. The light! Out of his dash. Unreal. Oh, the hands caught. What the hell? Well, they got the lens. Yo, how long till Navori, Viper? Where are we at? Where are we at? Chovy, I see you. I see you, Chovy. All roads lead to me. This is the area. Or? Hey, he's going! Little pup, you ain't faker yet. 
quite the game breaking uh, device. Nah, he just missed. If he had flash there, it was GG. Game was over. Nah, I think Chovy like has scripts and hacks on right now, and he was like, "Fuck, we're winning the game. How do I make it look like I'm not hacking? Wait, I'll go in and miss my ult. Ah, then they'll think I'm human. Aha! I'll miss my ult when it doesn't matter because there's no objective. Show me the Navori. Where's the Navori at? He is absolutely unbelievable, that guy. And it's crazy how good that guy is. They have objective bounties, Hammer Life. They're gonna get top tier one objective bounty, but they might lose mid tower. But I don't get it. Hammer Life played game one, played Akali, Zeka got nine, ten kills and a quadra kill, and completely carried. And then after that, they were like, let's not play Akali anymore. It's like, huh? You motherfucker. What the hell happened there? He got 12 kills. 12 kills and a quadra. And they won the game. And then they decided they don't want to play it anymore. What about Silas? Yone? The melee champs are pretty good. Viper 2 pinks in base. All right, here it Meanwhile, comes, the final Korea fight. Pays is... Actually, uh, Pays is strong. That Kai'Sa is really strong. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared for the Kai'Sa poke. Uh, hey. Oh, oh whoa, 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 Don't the snow flash. Jay snow flash, though. I think they're just setting up flashes for Chovy. Oh, Chovy! No Zonyas. Chovy got Doran. Viper has to run for his life. Nautilus ult was ticking. Pace. Canyon kick was insane. Genji have done it. Genji have done it. Wow. Oh, unlucky. Chovy, well played to Chovy though. I think Chovy played so well this series. Alright, Gen G at MSI chat. Gen G, welcome to MSI. Keen's at MSI. Has Keen ever been to MSI before? That's sick.